Hi everyone. Oh, hang on, we're a little bit, I'm a little bit bright. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Hi, how are you doing? We are going to be making Simon Rimmer's red Thai bean curry today. It is delicious. I've tried it myself. It's bloody good. How's everyone doing? Happy Sunday. So mum is our chopper, chief chopper. Chief sous chef. Sous chef today. She's chopped us 10 red chilies. This is for the, the paste. We've got two large white onions, but that should be, how many shallots was it? Five. five. Yeah. Should be five shallots. Um, you need 12 kaffir lime leaves, which we don't have in the shops here apparently. So I've Googled what can replace lime leaves. Um, and I hope Simon is not watching right now because it's probably not the right thing to do. But I have, um, I've just grated the outside of a massive lime away. I've taken, it's the zest, kind of. I've just grated it on a big one because, I don't know, I feel like when I did this before, there was like lots of bits in it. And I liked that. I liked the little bits. Anyway, so that's that. Oh, ginger. Oh, we haven't done the ginger. So how much ginger? Maybe this much ginger? Probably chop that. Okay, and that an inch? An, an inch, inch of ginger. It's a thumb. It's a thumb. It's half a thumb. It's a thumb. I've got long thumb fingers. <laughs> a thumb of ginger. And um, what have we got over there? We, two garlics. We three got, garlics. We actually we got three because our cloves weren't that big, so all yeah. depending on the size of the. Cloves. But in the recipe it says two garlic cloves. Uh, what else do we put in it? Thing is, the recipe is on my phone, so. Beans. No, that's not for the um. Oh, we do for the paste. paste. Sorry, it's all right. But the beans go in the curry. But the paste is ten chilies, five shallots, the zest of a massive lime, or um, cafe lime leaves, like twelve of them. There is two teaspoons of cumin seeds, which I'm about to cook off. Two teaspoons of coriander seeds, ten. Peppercorns, which I can't get out, so I'm just going to have to do the old thing, my bob. Um, some turmeric, half a teaspoon. Oh, I can't remember what it was. Maybe it was a whole teaspoon. Oh, I don't know. Um, cinnamon, a little pinch of that. Some salt. Anything else he said? Chili oil. Chili oil. We've got chili oil. Yes. What else? Added the chilies. Well, we're right. Oh, sugar. Sugar. There's the sugar. Um, palm sugar, but I've got brown sugar. I don't know. If, is that different? It is, isn't it? Um, I think this is more refined, whereas palm sugar, I think, I don't know, does it come in blocks? Like, I like, um, I have no idea. Jaggery? Maybe. Maybe. I mm. don't know. Anyway, we're going to chuck it all over. Oh, lemongrass. I forgot the lemongrass. So important. So I couldn't find the actual lemongrass, like stalks, which is what you want. You want five or six of them. I could find this though, the paste. I'm just going to put in a good, a good lot of that. Half of it or something. Well, five stalks, quite big, isn't it? So yeah. You're going to need a good amount of that. Yeah. Think. Yeah. Does it say how many stalks is in there? I'll just kind of fill it out. Taste it. Oh, here we go. In cooking, use one tea tablespoon of paste to replace one tablespoon of fresh lemongrass. Well, I don't know. I'm just going to chuck it in. I'm going to fill it out. It's a soul thing. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to make the curry, and then it's going to be delicious. And we hope that you like it very, very much. So how's everyone doing today? Oh, I've got the same problem I had last time, look. It just says who's watching, but it doesn't um, show me their comments. Does that mean I need to get on my phone so I can read the comments? That's what happened last time. Oh, is that what we did? That's what we did. Oh, All right, yeah, do it. So I can get my phone. I don't know why it's doing this. Do. Anyone know? Well, I, if you I did know, know, I couldn't see because I can't see your little messages. I will sort this out. Go, Mum. Go, Mum. Right, so we're going to chuck everything in here. We're going to whiz it up. And if I'm doing anything wrong, you can't tell me yet because I can't see messages. So, tough shit. Right, okay. We've got all these chilies and they're going in. Mum cut them because I'm not allowed to touch the baby with chilli hands. Thanks, Mum. Yeah, can't. can't but onion hands are fine, apparently. Onion hands fine, no chilli hands for baby. No chilli hands. Can you imagine? It would just oh, be so awful. That would be awful. I'm, I'm going to have to scrub my I hands. I don't know if this whiz is going to work, you know. Do you think it will work? Do you think it will go that far up? Oh, I, I do. 
I think it, you may have to give it a little shake. I might Shall have I to give it a little shake. Beans, please, oh, yes. Table. So we're going to blanch the beans because in the recipe it said um, cooked runner beans. Did it, it didn't say runner beans. String beans. String, did it say string beans? What are yeah. they called? I think some people call these string beans. They're not really runner beans. They're, They're like not runner beans, beans, are they? Yeah. So we're just going to blanch them because... We don't want them to not be cooked. I don't want to, I want to be true to the recipe that Simon's made because it is such a good one. And it really is a good book, guys. So if you are vegetarian or, or not, which was a point of the title, actually, if you just like to have vegetarian food, um, but maybe you don't fancy going all the way veggie, the accidental vegetarian, well, the clue is in the title. It just... It's great. It's written by somebody that's not vegetarian. Um, so he finds flavours that are just great. You don't feel like you're missing anything, apparently. I mean, I've never had meat, but um, so I've heard. A lot of people are saying, from hello, hello, sausage. Oh, hi! <laughs> <laughs> sausage is going to be my sweet. nickname now, isn't it? Well, it was when I was little, wasn't it, Mum? Uh, somebody said, could we consider doing a horizontal position on the phone? I don't know how. How do I do that? Yeah, I, I, don't, I feel like, let me, let me try it and That's see if it turns. Thing. But before it didn't turn, but I might have had the well, lock on it before. That's the second time I think I've seen that. Let me unlock it. Let's try oh no, hang on. Oh, silent mode. Oh God. Well, hang yeah. on. Should we try this? Yeah. Should we get, okay, let's try it. Sophie's watching. Hi Sophie. Would I have to start again? Oh, you can't turn your phone while recording. Uh, but do you know what I can do? I can stop and start again. Who wants us to stop and start again? Should we stop and start again? So give us a yes or no. Yeah, or nay. What do you think? Yeah, no. Is it too much? Is it too far? Is no, it too extreme? They're not giving us any answer. I feel saying, like stopping and starting again would be fine, wouldn't it? I think so. Do it. Let's try and get it. Okay. Because we haven't really started cooking yet. No. no. We're, right. We'll be back, back in a minute. We'll be back. And I hope it works. And if I, if I come back in a long position, yeah. I'm sorry. But know that I've tried. <laughs> okay. Right, who who said that? Uh, I, we I, don't know. I think it was the same chat as last week. He's obviously up He's, him, so we're going to sort it out. It is. We're, we're going to sort it out for you, love. You. All right. We'll be back. Mm. Quit. <laughs> I am quit. I'm going to... She's quit. She's had it. She's had enough of this. It made me drink. <laughs> oh, no. It made me drink. Oh, my God, Mum. I thought you had tea total. <laughs> right. Let's do this again. We are making <laughs> red Thai curry paste. <laughs> and it's going to be delicious because it's from one of my favourite cookbooks. <laughs> right, Simon Rimmer's recipe. <laughs> Go Simon. Right, there is 10 chilies. <laughs> should be shallots there is lemongrass paste that should be lemongrass stalks there is ginger there is turmeric there is cinnamon there is sugar thank you mum and I was going to cook off the thingies oh that's good that's getting warm I'm going to cook off the cumin seeds and coriander seeds and I'm going to crush them and put them in and we're going to whiz it up and it's going to be the best most delicious curry paste ever Yes! We got through it. We got through the first bit. That's good, Mum. It is good. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, yeah. Right. Anything else I'm supposed to be chopping at this point? I don't know. I don't think so. I think you've done an amazing job at chopping. Mum's, mum's um, taken the green beans. Mm. This is the curry part, not the paste part. The actual blanched already. bits that we good. Oh, these are blanched. Now, Mum, mm -hmm. explain. How does one blanch? Well, one blanches mm. generally in hot water. Mm. Um, and it's quite technical. You put the water in the pan mm -hmm. and then you bring it to the boil. Mm -hmm. And then according to how al dente you like your veggies, mm -hmm. you pop them in for a couple of minutes and then take them out and let them cool. Mm. And it's so that when we put them in the lovely curry paste, they are par-cooked. Yes. Not cooked, but par-cooked. Par-cooked. Don't you like that? I do like that. So we're just blanching. Just not not no. There we are. We're blanching. Okay, good. 
And that's that. And then you just cut these off now. Oh, I should get a little thing. Hang on, I need a thing. Right, so you cut these little babies off, this um, coriander seeds and cumin seeds. And you wait for it to get all like fragrant, is mm. the term that they use in the cookbooks. Sometimes so, they pop. Yeah, sometimes they pop. And they smell lovely. They, they smell pop. good, don't they? Yeah, when they start to pop, I think they're done. All mm. pretty. And then we're supposed to crush it in a mortar and pestle. Mortar and pestle? Pestle and mortar? Pestle and mortar. Pestle we and don't mortar. have one of those. We, we don't do have, have one. one of these, which is a good little round thing. Which we're going to try with a spoon. With a spoon. Why haven't we got a... I don't know. I had one in, in the last yes. place. But, um, I think I bought you one. I think you have one in Devon. I've got one in Devon, yeah. yeah. But it's a bit far away. I can't really nip yeah. down the road. That's on the list then. Yeah, I need one of those. Big, heavy, gorgeous one. Yes. They are good, aren't they? It's a very important thing to have in the kitchen. Right, how... Oh, look, the messages have come back. Oh, there we go. I can... Wait. Hello, everyone. Right, let me see. Who's saying what? Lisa from Iowa. Hello, love. Ah. Ha! Ellen, you are the cutest pair. Pa. Pa. She liked pa. Pa cooked. Pa cooked. We prefer pa cooked. Yes, we do. Yes. We don't want it to be, you know, smushy. Oh, Carol from Brazil. Hello, lovely. Aww. How are you doing? Kelly from Aberdeen. Ah, oh, that's nice. So far away. Is the sauce recipe somewhere other than here, please? Yes, it is. Um, go and get, go to Amazon and, oh, is that burning? No. Oh my God, why is it burning? No, it's... No, that's good. That's perfect. Fantastic. Is that good? It's fragrant. They I don't smell know, amazing. the oil in. I'm regretting the oil. Look, it's sticking. No, it's all fine. Trust, trust your mother. I think that's all fine. Take it off the heat. It smells fragrant. Does it? Yeah. I mean, I okay, sorry, it. I was answering your question. Go to Amazon, type in The Accidental Vegetarian, Simon Rimmer, and purchase the book, and you will have that recipe and many other recipes that are delicious. Or you just go online, but I, I think you should grab the book. This is a really nice book to have. And he's got another one called The Seasoned Vegetarian that Lucy posted up mm. this morning. Right, should we chuck it in that bowl? Yes. Is that for... I'm going to pop it in the bowl and then we're going to smush it. Smush it. I feel like that's... Well, pop it in. I'll get smushing. I don't know if that's going to be a good bowl, ma'am. Well, can we try it? Because we can try it. One we've got. We, we need edges. We could do it. Or we could one. just chop it with a knife. Oh, see. I know. I, I mean, like, you can squish it, can't you? You can, like, get the knife and then squish. So it's just crushed. Crush. What do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah? Hey. Not my first rodeo. It's not her first rodeo. She is a... I think this is probably... She is squishing. We really need With it. the back of a spoon. Yeah, it is. They are cracking. Yeah. Oh, oh it smells so good. I'm yeah. doing it. it. It must be doing something. Yeah, it smells amazing. I'll come over here out of your way. While I so... Smush. Hang on. I didn't put the pepper in, did I? Ten peppercorns you're supposed to do when you're doing this. So I'm just going to... Do the old. Yeah. Because, hang on, is that going to work? Is that on? God, these things, I tell you. Fine or coarse? Let's go coarse. Oh, yes. One peppercorn. Two peppercorns. Three. Four. Five. I don't know. I tell you, you mocked me. <laughs> but this is doing it. <laughs> okay, I reckon that's 10 peppercorns. Maybe that's too much. I don't know. What do you reckon, Ma? Oh, she's got... She mocked me when I mentioned this earlier. I'd like to point out. Well, I don't think <laughs> it was going to work. And the good thing is it's quite good for the guns mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. which isn't a bad thing. So I'm getting a double thing here. That's good. It's very productive. I like it. I think it's going to work, because it smells, smell oh, that. It smells, smells good. Smell that. that it smells. Smell good. Oh, yeah. It's really fabulous, actually. Those little balls, though, of the, um, the coriander seeds. <laughs> it would be easier if we had one of those. Oh, well. <laughs> I got this. Switch off in a minute. <laughs> 
I can do squats at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> can I do a workout? When you get to my age, I have to <laughs> Oh my dear lord. I think this is what is going on in this kitchen? Okay. Right, I'm getting this ready one because we're, we're going to make yeah. it in there. There we are. Should we right, get right, that right, Very good. Right, over to you. She's squished it up. It's nicely squished. Okay, I've chucked it in. You, that's going to be amazing. I know. Have you got the salt in there? Uh, put the salt in. Um, I'll, oh, chilli oil. Mm -mm. Do you need chilli oil in it? What was, was it, it in it? With all those other tennis shoes, chillies. I know. Why have I got chilli oil? I think it was on the recipe. Was it? I'll the... pop it in. It's going in. It's in. It it's in. Okay. If Simon says. Simon says. Cook and curry. <laughs> okay. Weird, weird, weird. Nothing's moving. <laughs> but I think probably they're wider bottom. That might be more of a smoothie with more liquid. Okay. So you just put a bit more oil in it. Oil. I'll do I an olive so. oil. Yeah. You have a one. Okay, it's going in. Does it help? I've moved it, it about a bit. Helps it move about a bit, yeah. I had a feeling this might happen. I might have to do right. a few goes. Ready? Um, a mummy high or I feel like am I putting this in mine? I don't know are you? Does I feel like I'm a bit drugged the whole time that, huh? that oh look, it? no it's starting to do it I that lovely it's red colour because I shook it <laughs> how <laughs> is it? you <laughs> shake it differently to how I shake it oh she's more right. hardcore do she's I more hardcore with the shaking that's the difference do I need to put this in the back thing? To shove it in, that's it, and then give it like a twist a little bit, and then now press the button. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I've failed. Okay, hang on, let me try. Yeah, I don't think I know. Step aside, shaker. I'll be the shaker. You okay. Can't put her on. Her. Ah. I don't know. I'm just. <laughs> Okay, when you're ready for me to put it back on, you just let me know. <laughs> oh dear, hang on, I'm charged. I've got to charge my thing. It's gonna be amazing. So, yes, this whole new mummy thing has actually made me like a bit hysterical. Okay, right. You're on charge. I think. I hope it's working. Oh gosh. Right. Hi, John. John said, nobody told me there'd be days like these. Neither oh. me, love. Neither me. Is that a tough one? A food processor next time. That is what I need. I don't think I have one. I think this is a smoothie maker. <laughs> <laughs> so, get, listen, 
I We're know calling food processing making companies. Send me one. I, I mean, I have other, other things. I've got like, here, I've got this, which is one, last time I made this, what I used get? this. You know, this little guy? That's what I used. And it was actually quite difficult, but it did work out in the end. I was like, here we go. I hear Cody's feet. That means he's coming to fix a problem. I don't think he can unless he's got a food processor under his arm. But he might. <laughs> he might. I might have one hidden. No, he's not coming. Not much. I didn't give Usually when I hear those feet, it's Cody coming to fix something. We've what got, are you coming to fix? Cody. Oh, the battery. Oh, he's coming to fix so the good. battery for me. Just then, I've almost done this. There you go. I've, have you noticed I can't actually... Look at it. That is the perfect colour. I'm turning it on by plugging it in because I can't turn it off. <laughs> Funny. Mum, all you have to do is you press that button. Yes! Yes! Haha! One more and we are home and dry. Go on, give it some. Mm. Okay. So, it's not supposed to work like this. <laughs> well, if you have a smoothie maker. But you can do it. You do it. Yeah, you can do it. Right. Exactly. Or one of these. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, hi Claire, how are you doing? Hi Andrea, hi Anne. Oh, an olive oil, yep, put more olive oil. Your mum is making baby food. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Okay, how did we do the rest of this there thing? Oh. There you go. Thank you, Mum. Where there's a will, there's a way. There's a way. That is true. Okay, so this is our pace. We probably put a bit too much oil in it, but whatever. Oh, it's, bit, it's fine. It looks fabulous. Yeah, it's good. So you take like four of those. Yep. When you do it, it will not be as sloppy as this. We added a lot of oil. Um, I, I remember it being a little bit. Yeah, but we needed to because we had a we had a immovable situation going we did. on. Yeah, we needed to loosen. We needed to loosen it up, so it's fine. Okay. So I'm going to warm up a little bit of oil, and then I'm going to cook four of these until fragrant. And then, what do I do then? Oh, and then I put in um, the coconut milk and 100 mils of stock. I bring that to the boil for Shall I refer four to minutes. Me? I think it was only four minutes. Yeah, refer to the recipe, Mum, just so I don't fool it up. Yeah, thank you. She's out there smoking a fag and referring to the recipe. Okay, right. This is our little pot. God, I hope this tastes all right. Um, we've got our beans. What we need is our other beans. We've got lima beans. Now, on the recipe it calls for broad beans. I don't know if they're different. Yes, they are different because the broad beans are much bigger. I think these ones are all right to use. I'm draining them. I'm rinsing them. Um, I kind of thought about using butter beans because they are similar size as broad beans. So you go. But these the taste alright. Oh no, they taste good. You have to put the paste in. Paste in. Right. Cook it nice. Cook it until it's fragrant. Until it's fragrant. Once mm -hmm. it's fragrant, you add the stock and then you cook it for a further three minutes. And then you put in all the other stuff and cook it for another three minutes. I haven't got that bit yet. I'm giving it another go. Yep, she's right. She's on it. She knows what she's doing. Okay. So. I shall be warming up a bit of oil, vegetable oil, warm it up, tablespoons or dessert spoons, doesn't matter does it? One, two, three, four, and now we've got those in place for another day, which is good, it smells bloody delicious, trust me on that, trust me, okay. Um, oh, I don't know, because you took out all the seeds, didn't you? Yeah, but I bet it's still. Give it a go. Where's my little spoon? Oh, no, this one. This one. Ooh, ooh, child, day. Oh, my God, it smells amazing. chilies, the 
you kind of got your nose and in your eyes and stuff. So be careful of that. Woo! Okay, turning the other down. Oh my god, sorry. I can't see what I'm bloody doing. I'm sure you're following this for the recipe. <laughs> Okay, that does smell really, really nice. Okay, so it's just doing its thing. I'm going to add the coconut milk and the stock, and then we're going to cook that for another few minutes. Ooh, it does smell so good. Really, we should have put some rice on. Shall I do that now? But I don't think we've got any. We've only got a little bit of rice. Oh, well, we'll just tell them how to do it. I know. Right. Can I open it? Sushi? Oh, oh gosh. Okay, sorry. Um, you could have whisked it up with the coconut milk. Well, Christopher, we could have, but the coconut milk wasn't in the paste recipe and I didn't want to mess with it. No. If we're going to keep the paste for later. Yes, we must keep the paste. Sorry, I'm not so good with the old. Yeah. You know, there you are. The angle. Okay, coconut milk, 400 ml. Going in, going in. Ooh, lovely. Oh, it's Ooh. just, this looks so good. Oh. This is one of my favourite meals. Honestly, it is. I love it. Mm. Did you get a bit up your nose? No, I just licked my finger. Um, right, 100 ml are stock. And then you kind of bring it to a little boil. In the meantime, hang on, I'm turning that up. In the meantime, chop your onions, one bunch, that's a bunch, um, and chop your tomatoes. Just in case. Like says, I love you, love you, nuts. <laughs> we love her too. We love her <laughs> Only if she's in Asia. Yeah. <laughs> and now Holly Gomez says this is the most fun he's had all weekend. I hope he's had ah! all three renditions. Yeah. <laughs> now we're the right way up. Oh my god, I tell you. Right, I'm chopping these tomatoes. Like that. Marvin Bruce, so we look like pros in the kitchen. I don't think so. Pros. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin. <laughs> well, we can cook, you know, things that taste nice, but we yes, often yeah. burn things and, well, we have you know. We do, right? I mean, the kitchen sometimes ends up a bit of a disaster area, but at least it's fun, isn't it? It's always fun. It's and always, it's always fun. Tasty. Yeah, that's true. That's the one. That's the main thing. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, so with this, I'm going to take off the outside, but it looks kind of clean. Oh, they look fine. It's going to be cooked anyway. Yeah, they look good. Right, I'm taking off the edge. Take off the buns, and then chop, chop, chop. Lovely, lovely. Please don't put your finger on. Oh, says your book title should be stoned in the kitchen. <laughs> Do you know what? We never get anything done. You know Paul and Bonnie? Yeah. They used to say, give me a split and just ask me to cook them something and then sit there and watch. Oh, no. And that was their entertainment. I tell you what, I didn't realise they were doing it until they'd done it for a few times and then they kind of confessed to me that they just found it really funny. Because <laughs> really I didn't know where anything was. I mean, I'm still the same now, but imagine after a split, oh my God, it's not good. Not good at all. Say no to drugs, children. Definitely. Although, I think oh, definitely about marijuana. Samantha said my four-month-old is enjoying watching you. Oh, four months. No, that's so sweet. Oh, nice. Oh, little Violet's one month old now. She's so big. She's like doubled in size. I wonder how, how big is a four-month-old? Bigger than Proper Violet. chunky. Um, we should be chunky. She's hopefully squidgy. Yeah. Squidgy. Squidgy. We like Violet's squidgy. getting squidgy in her cheeks. She's all mm. like, mmm, gorgeous. Her face, it's just like a cherub. Oh. Congrats, lovely lady. I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you've got the mummy high that I think I have. 
I think it's a bit weird because you kind of, you obviously have lack of sleep, um, which can drive a person mad. But if you combine that lack of sleep with um, the dopamine and the oxytocin that is happening, um, which I read happens when you breastfeed, and the baby also gets the same thing when that's happening, which is quite cool. Um, I don't know, I think it just sends you into a mad world of giggliness. It's a good thing. I like it. It's been a happy household. It's been happy, isn't it, Mum? Yeah, it's been lovely. Yeah. Really lovely. Yeah, we've, we've been lucky. We've been lucky. We've had, we've had her as our light, haven't we, Mum? She's been our light in... In, in difficult in days. In difficult type days. Everyone yeah. has difficult days at the moment. And yeah. And we've had ours as everyone else has had theirs. Yep. She's been our shining light. She's been amazing. She just brightens up everything. Um, right, Mum, I think... Okay, how are we That's doing? That's now, so I'm going to put in all the bits. Okay, and then we're going well, to begin. Here's my very beautifully blunt par-cooked beans. Par-cooked beans. I did my bit. Eight ounces of those. Chop off the ends. Blanch them. And then chuck them in. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Oh, it's going to be so delicious. I'm going to too hot. You know I'm not going to eat it. Oh, Mum, have a little bit. I will, but oh, Two cough. tomatoes. Chucking in. These little spring onions. Mm -hmm. oh, it's going to be nice. Um, <coughs> a bunch of them chopped. Oh, look at that. They're going in. Oh, this is worth all that madness. And then, I don't know how much of the coriander. Is it just a garnish, Mum, or is it? are we putting it in the whole thing? Oh, hang on, I have to refer to the recipe. Simon. <laughs> Simon. Simon. Do what Simon. What does say? Simon say? What does Simon say? I'll tell you. Because I've chopped up quite a lot. We're not messing with Simon. He's the man. Simon, let's oh. check you out. He says, four minutes. I'm going to put the lid on. Okay, it he it. says garnish with lime wedges and coriander. Oh, so you don't put, so you don't put the coriander. Not until Whoops, I'm you top sprinkle quite a lot. that on the top with lime wedges and I love coriander. coriander. It'll be amazing. Mm. And then we're going to cook some rice mm -hmm -hmm. to go with that later. Mm -hmm. Oh, whoops, them. hang on, I forgot the beans. These um, oh, broad beans. Not these beans, but these would be good as well. But in his recipe, it's broad beans. These are lime beans. They're going in. Should I put the whole lot in? Oh, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Okay. That's great. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I've got a feeling I can mm. put enough salt in. We'll taste it. Let's taste it. Bollocks. Oh, well, just give it a minute. I need more just salt. Go. Do you know what, Mum? I actually want to put one more of those in. Yeah. Is it too late? No. Okay, I'm putting one more in. It's never too late. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I might put two in. Let's see. Because I want it to really taste the way it did before when I made it. Right, I put two in. Mm -hmm. That looks better. It said one I trust that person more. on the on the yeah. thing and you've got to And I need more salt. Them. I know, that's what it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Hang on, more salt. Remember, always taste the food that you're cooking. Because you know what you want to do, don't And you? another tip is when you're cooking anything that's hot, Oof. you can sometimes chill it out a bit by adding a little sugar, a little lemon juice, mm -hmm. a little salt, just to get the balance right. And mm -hmm. it's sometimes that can help a bit, but you have to taste as you go. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes. Is that fabulous? That is good. Mmm. But, Mum, yeah. I think I need more sugar. A bit more sugar. Mm -hmm. See? Got to get the balance right. Yeah. <laughs> and that is... Just the way it goes. I'm going to have a little look at comments while we do that. Okay. I'll sit and squint at comments and people can think, what is she doing? Oh yeah, this is going to be good. Not that I know. <laughs> right, more sugar's oh. going in. Somebody says, I need some Joss Cuervo tequila in my food. Tequila? Mm, we like a bit mm. of tequila. I only like it in margaritas and snacks. I don't know if I would... I don't well, think I've ever had any, like, food with tequila in it. Have you? Oh, hang on, I'm trying to... And lovely from New York. What you're making came on late. You're making a green, a, a red Thai bean curry. Mm. Um, oh. Somebody from Portugal said it, you're nice. making them hungry. Mm. It is good. It's and good. somebody thinks that you and I are really funny. Well, oh, that's and that's rather nice. Well, as long as we're making you laugh. Yeah. We're Isabel you says kisses from Brazil. And Laura Ann says I love your mum's boots. 
Thank you. <laughs> I am so thrilled with my boots. <laughs> She's and got your yeah. boots on today. I'm wearing my slippers. Check them out. <laughs> I, I think She's I Mrs. Fashionista, my mum. And now I'm, I think they'll last me a long time. That's yeah. my thing I'm taking home to England with me. You are a good mum. Um, you know what, mum was my stylist for a long time. Wait, mum. Yes, I was, from when you were born. She wasn't like <laughs> technically my stylist. Yeah, from when I was born. Yes, I was. She always knows. Yeah. I'm terrible with stuff like that. Mum's always on it. She always looks fabulous. Always on it. Oh, somebody oh. wants you to sing them a song. What would you like me to sing, darling? Anything? Hmm. Do you know what? I was singing to Violet the other day. Last night. Um, do you remember the song Footsteps? Mm. Mm, were you singing with me, love? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I hear goodbye Reminds me, baby, of you I break down and cry, I cry. Next time I'll be true, yeah. Fever for lost romance. You know what, Cody said, you should sing to the baby more. And I do like little ditties, right? But I'm so loud when I sing. <laughs> I don't want to scare her. But last night, um, she was just crying. So I sang her this song. And she stopped crying, so it did work. And he was like, see, finally. I'm like, oh, I don't want to scare the baby there she because I'm too it. loud. And he's like, no, no. So yeah, footsteps on the dance floor reminds me, baby, of you. Teardrops in the eye. And next time I'll be true, yeah. Whispers in the powder room. She cries on every tune, every tune, every tune. And the music don't feel like it did when I felt it with you. I love that line. Nothing that I do or feel ever feels like I felt it. With you. That's how I sang it to her, more soft like that. Oh, that was <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, little sweet. And she was like, oh, she was crying before. And it's really funny when she cries because she says, Allah. She actually does. Google it. Newborn baby crying to Allah. Allah. It is Allah. a real thing, guys. <laughs> it is a real, real thing. Oh, totally. It? So she's there going, Allah. She is literally doing that. I have to post a video of it. It's so sweet. It's thing. so, so sweet. And I'm like, oh wow, you've chosen your religion already. I can't believe it. She's only a month old. <laughs> so yeah, I always find that really, really sweet and very funny. And so she was doing that. She was praying. And um, I just thought, okay, the praying's getting a bit emotional now. So I thought, I'll calm her down. And um, I sang her a little song and she went, Big wide eyes. Oh, she's so lovely. I love her. She is very special. Right, this curry is done. It's done. So what will we be serving that with? We'll be serving it with rice. So let's let's pop a little bowl together now. Yeah. And we'll do the rice later. So we can do that. Garnish. We'll make it look posh. Shall I cut you a, a, a lime wedge? Yeah. Oh yeah. You have to serve it with lime wedges. Lime people. wedges. And mm -hmm. Right. I think a lot of people are going to be having this for their tea. Yeah, this is really good. This is a great One of my recipe. Favorites. Thank you, Simon. Yeah, thank you, Simon. I'm sorry that, that I don't have all the correct ingredients, but I hope that I explained it enough so all of you can, you know, get the right the right ingredients or look just replace them. That. In a way, oh look, this does look nice, doesn't it? It's Let's amazing. See, we should take a little picture. So. Let me just do a little squidge, squidging, and then popping on the side. A little bit of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that, another wedge on the other side. Another wedge on the other side just to make it look pretty. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at this. 
Mmm. Yum. Right, should we try it, Mum? Come on, you've got to try it. It's not that spicy, I promise. You know I'm going to cough. No, no. It's not that spicy. Okay. I'm going to cough in front of the nation. <laughs> no, um, you won't, you won't. I am a wuss when it comes to spice. I love spicy food. The taste, but the chilli does do me in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try a bit of the juice. <laughs> You're scared. Well, I, I know. Let chilli. me try it. Hang on. It's going to make me cough. I'm going, I'm doing it. No, you're going to be good. It's not that spicy, because you took all the seeds out. Oh. That's all right, isn't it? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's gorgeous. You are going to love that. Take no notice to me. I have some sort of reaction in my throat. <laughs> and I have anything with spice in. That's so good. Isn't that nice? And if that was Ooh, served with a bowl of wonderful rice, oh. it will be amazing. You Shall I have a rice? bean? Let me have a have bean. Have a bean. Have a bean. Have an actual bean. Yeah. I'm just going to pick it up. I know it's mm, rude, but mm -hmm. I'm going to do it. Oh, it is good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's authentic. Mm. Simon, thank you. Well done, Simon. Really good. Thank you for making this recipe. Thank you for making your lovely cookbook What's that I love very, very mm. much. And thanks for having me on this morning on Sunday brunch. That was fun. And, um, yeah, make some oh. more lovely recipes like this. And thank you all for putting up with us with our three renditions. Three renditions of this one. And sorry for the upside downy bit, but we yeah. blame Lloyd. I think it was Lloyd. Lloyd. Sorry, Lloyd, but you really messed up. Lloyd. <laughs> 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 Just saying. Oh, Lloyd, what have you no, said? Sit I don't care. Lloyd <laughs> needs to understand. It might be so. Right. Don't worry, love. It's okay. No, we like you, Lloyd. We'll make mistakes. Please stop telling us how to do Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> we know, come on, we have to be firm here. <laughs> Oh Lloyd! Yeah, we, we tried though. He will understand we tried. Yeah, we did try. He will understand we, we did try. And that's all that matters. And we are teasing. Yeah, it's the we thought that counts. <laughs> okay, lovely people. Signing off. Um, take care. Make sure that you cook this lovely meal if you understood what the hell was going on. Um, check out The Accidental Vegetarian. Um, it's a great book and I hope that you enjoy it and have some lovely... Cooking times in your kitchen. All right, bye.